So welcome to my channel, this is Izam. Today will be a first in a series of flat vector art that I'm gonna be use, I'm gonna be doing. So the first one will be the chicken. I'm very fascinated with flat art right now because of my previous video. And I think it is so interesting because you could actually use very minimal things to convey ideas right so because i actually read this particular uh, article put up by duolingo in the app that enables you to learn a lot of uh, languages or languages that you want to learn and i highly encourage you to, to download that app and and learn new languages so but anyway i digress so i put a link to that article where it describes how they come up with their artwork all the artwork uh, that they have on their site i put a link uh, in the video description down below so read it um, and i hope you get some uh, inspiration from from that without further ado let's get into the video all right hey guys so today we're gonna do this uh, particular artwork so this is a very simple flat art of a chicken so let's begin let's have a new document I promise you this will be very very easy okay so let's have a look at your layers panel we have layer 1 let's rename that as BG and let's have the rectangular uh, tool okay and let's just draw a cross using your apple pencil and now let's change the color um for me i prefer you know a radial gradient so i'm going to choose yellow this is the color for the inside so i'm going to use um, this color yellow and the outside will be maybe slightly orangey okay I think this is fine okay here we go I'm gonna lock this layer and I'm gonna have another layer and let's uh, let's call this uh, body okay body so for the body of the chicken let's just use a circle see just draw like that gonna constrain to make it a perfect circle now this time round we're gonna use a solid color because it's flat right the whole artwork is flat and this solid color, I'm going to use white. Easy, right? So next, use this tool, the node tool, and then tap here and drag upwards like that to make the base somewhat flat like that. And the top, raise it up a little bit. So you get some kind of a dome shape here, but not really dome, but more of an, a flat egg i think okay so whatever shape this is um this is this is what uh i want and i think you can have this too okay so this is done okay so now let's create the tail okay so this is done for the body again for the tail use the circle tool and just draw this an ellipse an oval shape and i'm gonna use the move tool move it over here now this will be the tail okay and I'm gonna make it slightly bigger and just put it over here and then I'm just gonna copy and paste and drag over here and resize it like that and put it over there okay so this is the tail <laughs> easy right okay so we've done with this now the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna do is the draw the the flap on the chicken's head I, I'm not sure what that is called you can look it up uh, for me and write it in the comments if you want so let's draw that again we're gonna use this uh, oval or circle button okay I, I'm not gonna constrain I'm just gonna use this like that here we go and put it over here and I'm gonna change the color okay let's change the fill to red there and that's it over here I think I'm gonna resize it like that make it a bit taller and I'm just gonna copy and paste put it over here drag it over like, like that turn it over like that make it a bit smaller and put it over here let's see what will happen something like that okay let's see 
Okay, it looks more like a, a an uneven heart shape, right? It's very interesting. Okay, so we got it. So that's that's that, and I'm gonna use a new layer, and I'm gonna lock this body layer. Tap this to create a new layer. I'm gonna tap. I'm gonna call this um, face. The face. All right. Now for the face, it's very easy. We're gonna have the the beak cheeks and the eyes let's say for the beak let's use uh, this the polygon tool and change it to three-sided polygon okay we can't see this because it is white so let's change this color to and um, yellow let's do that change it to yellow all right maybe a bit orangey okay we got it so you can have your own color if you want to, alright? So for this, let's make this interesting. Right now it's sharp, right? So uh, let's make it softer, like more roundish, something like that. But not too round, so I'm gonna adjust this handle over here, bring it closer, bring it closer. And here, bring it closer in this as well. All right, so that it has a hint of a curve around here, right? So that it's not too sharp. Okay, so it's like very nice and soft and round, kind of fluffy over here. Okay, so we got that. And now let's use um, the circle tool to draw the cheeks. Oops, okay, accidentally there. Okay, have another go. And let's draw here, I'm gonna constrain. And that's it. Okay. And put it over there. Okay. For the cheek, right? I'm going to change the color to pink. I'm going to drag the color over here. Drag it over here. Let's see what we got. And yes, I think this is okay. And let's copy. Drag this one. Copy and paste. Got it over here all right so right now what you see here is the cheek the beak and the cheek so I'm gonna select all these three things okay, use this option here to select um, multiple items and let's make it a bit smaller okay we, we do not want it to you know take over the whole face let's put it right smack in the center something like this okay so we got this next is okay turn this off remember that and next we use this rectangle tool but let's push it up to 300 the max uh, the curvature of the rectangle and this is what we got all right so drag it over here change this color to dark brown something like this okay and resize it let's see what we got okay copy and paste and put it over here okay currently if you see this it's not perfectly round right well this doesn't really matter but if you wish to because we just adjusted this the, the size so the curvature is lost okay it's not proportion right now so what you can do is this make sure you select this and change the corner radius to here now you see the curvature is much nicer do the same for this okay so now it's updated and that's it we got this all right so so that was that i hope you do like that video i hope it's easy for you if, if you do like it do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe ding, to my channel so until then i hope you have a good day and shukran for watching my video and that's it bye